Uh, Carl Icahn, uh, probably one of the more successful investors on the planet, was telling me yesterday that Donald Trump has to be given credit for slashing corporate tax rates. Uh, he's very worried about that being undone as we speak. Take a listen. When you talk about corporate taxes, I think Donald Trump had to do that to make us competitive and try to, and try to stimulate our companies to spend more money in productivity, which doesn't seem to be working that well. But at least you had to do that. All right, and now a lot of Democrats, especially those who've taken over the House of Representatives, are trying to undo that. The corporate rate, which was slashed to 21 percent, they want it moved back up to 28 percent. Charlie Gasparino on that and the give and take. Not that it would necessarily go anywhere. Corporate but taxes needed to come down to make me richer. Is, richer. That, is that your Carl? That's, I, I, I could actually do it. I've been practicing so much Dr. Evil right. that it's got me off my Carl yeah, icon. Yes. I love, okay. By the way, I've known Carl for a long time. I love the man. Um, Listen, I think the problem that the Democrats... worried they undo that? You might as well. I don't think the, the Democrats can undo it. Yeah. You know, I mean, I know they can't. I mean, it would have to go to the uh, Senate and Congress. Uh, this president would have Not to... Not even all Democrats are on board. Yeah, it just it ain't happening. But I think what they may do is it'll bring up the class warfare argument. Uh, that may be marginally helpful for them. As you know, they're gearing up for 2020. And they're going to hit... I mean, this is, this is what the Democrats are going to do in Congress. They're going to they're gonna highlight a bunch of things that they think Trump is vulnerable on. They think he's vulnerable, vulnerable, vulnerable on the corporate tax cut. Massive corporate tax cut compared to pretty puny individual tax cuts. And particularly if the economy doesn't keep growing at 3%, they're going to say, listen, you, you basically gave a blank check to corporations. And what do they do with it? They didn't invest really in plant and equipment. Carl Icahn just admitted it right there. What they did is a lot of stock buybacks, which Carl likes because he's an investor. Okay. Uh, but generally does not help the economy. So they're going to hit him there. They're obviously going to hit him on his taxes, on Mueller, on things like that that can make that can embarrass him. Because right now we're basically, I mean, in, in three months we're really going to be in the suit. But right now we're heading right into the, I should the 2020 the presidential election. I should take on the, the lower rates. It weren't so much what they were doing with their money, but that it makes them globally competitive, that they're on a, fa a, a fairer playing field. What do you make of that? Yeah, I mean, I tend to agree with that. I, we should point out, though, that... Um, you know, there were to so many loopholes in the corporate tax rates that, you know, companies were paying effective cap corporate tax rates, which were much more competitive than, right. than, than you would think. So I agree with some of that. I mean, listen, I don't, I'm not for corporate, big corporate taxes, big individual taxes. I think he is worried about debt. He is worried about debt. He is worried about uh, the well, press of this world. He should be. And yeah. the reason why is because if the corporate tax cut, if these corporations do nothing more than buyback stocks or a little more than buyback stocks, you're not going to get the GDP bang for the buck and you're not going to be able to pay for the, you're not going to get the tax receipts that will pay for the deficit. And that's a big problem. We're heading to trillion dollars deficits. But I will say this, that no presidential campaign, I don't think people run on the, on the deficit. I think the big thing that the Democrats are going to show is if they're banking on economy slowing and giving a huge tax cut to the rich as the economy slows, Donald Trump's in the back pocket of corporations. He is a, he, he's a, um, he, you know, he, he's got ethical problems with his businesses, doesn't pay his tax, doesn't pay all the taxes you pay. That's why they're going to get his tax, try to get his tax returns. And they're going to hit him like that as these candidates start coming out of the woodwork. Joe Biden is one. Kamala Harris is another. I mean, they're, Joe Biden is likely to run. I'm not saying he is. I mean, I just talk to people. I speak to people who know him, said it's, he's leaning. But, but a lot of the money say guys no. who give to these candidates, they're waiting to hear from him, right? Uh, I think, if yeah. He hey, announces I think he's going to announce soon, and yeah. one way or the other. Um, it's very interesting that if you go online, it's, they're gearing up to go after Biden on this groping stuff. Right, right. A lot of Russian bots and very gullible people think, you know, he's basically walking around, you know, putting his hands on people in the middle of the street. I mean, a lot of these pictures on the Internet are, are fakes. So I would just but be... But would that go anywhere, you think? Or Listen, I, I, no, it won't. And what it'll do is it'll... Hide. Biden, as you know, is selling himself as the only one who really has right. a chance I don't think of, that, of beating the president. I, I think if Trump goes and tries to compare him to Bill Clinton, yeah. it, it, it'll backfire. And it'll raise the issue about his own his sexual issues yeah, with Stormy they Daniels. They don't want to go there. Let me right. ask you real quickly about this shutdown. And I... Right. Normally, as I was telling the prior group here, when so many Wall Streeters right. dismiss it out of hand, I begin to say, gee, why are they all dismissing it? Right. Um, because it's going to linger, and now the president presumably tonight will declare a national emergency and, and keep it going and, and heating this up. Uh, 
your thoughts on that and whether Wall Street should be so cavalier in ignoring it all? Well, they shouldn't be if it goes much longer. I mean, here's the thing. You, you have to ask yourself, how does this impact the economy and corporate earnings? I mean, corporate earnings, you know, impacts the stock market, but, you know, the economy in general. Uh, one way it is does this, and my producer Lydia Moynihan wrote a nice piece about this. The, S, the Securities and Exchange Commission is essentially out of business. The, uh, the Federal Communications Commission is essentially out of business. If these government agencies that can't approve deals, can't, you know, deals that are like the F SCC, the Securities and Exchange Commission, has to approve IPOs. If these IPOs get delayed indefinitely, that corporations can't go public. That you know, that is an economic impact. That it, sure. that, it, that the, we are preventing. And that would have a wolf <coughs> impact too. Yes, we are preventing the capital formation process from going forward now. A couple of weeks, no one's going to care. Maybe even a month or two, no one will care. But if it lingers longer than that, where this looks intractable, that will have an impact. And by the way, if federal workers are not... Listen, I try calling people in Washington and in federal agencies all the time. They're not there. If well, they're, maybe they just say they're not there because they get Charlie sometimes, wants sometimes, to Sometimes, but then I get Lydia to call them, right. and they all love her, yeah. and they're not there. You know, Lydia used to work with us, and then she I joined know. you. I, I kind of hurt my feelings. You know? I know. Well, she wants to be with the big leagues. Apparently. You know? <laughs> I mean, yeah. Apparently but hurt, but, but, I, but I'm, <laughs> I'm going to tell her that. Yeah. <laughs> but apparently... This hasn't had an impact on the economy, but if people don't have their checks... The idea of joining you didn't have an impact on the economy? Oh, uh, oh I'm sorry. sorry. You got me confused. No. Right. Yes, that did. That's uh, did. Uh, the news. Um, Twitter has been lit up ever since yes, then. It but yet it has to have the impact on the economy. And I think that whole notion of federal agencies not approving deals and stuff like that is where you get the slowdown in the market possibly impacting. All right. You're the best, buddy. Thank, Thank you. you. Charlie Gasparino, respected. I'm, I'm only kidding. I didn't mean to say I was the big leagues and you're not. That's what you said. I, I, listen, you are the big leagues. Oh, oh, That's why I do. Listen, I don't do a lot of shows here. No, you're like Elvis. It's you're, like you're you. Where you want to appear. Yeah, it's you. Right, there we I go. I love you. All right, I love you back. All right.